Alright, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be opening this OCG Elemental Energy Booster Box. I'm actually super excited about this. It is a big box too and I don't know if it's just because the way they used to make them back in the day or what, but if you just look at it, it's, it's bulky and when it came in, I thought maybe they accidentally sent me two boxes, but they didn't. They sent me just one and if you take a look at this absolutely amazing hack art, like honestly though, like... That is beautiful. I love this set. It's one of my favorite sets uh, ever. It's got the a chance, anyway, of an ulti Shining Flare Wingman. There are 40 packs here, and I am going to do my best to go through them relatively quickly because uh, there are 40 packs here, and these are going to duplicate relatively quickly. So let's go ahead and jump into it. I do want to see if they made any kind of easy rip because this is an older pack, but it doesn't look like they did which is super unfortunate, but yeah, let's jump into it. Hopefully we get an ulti shining flare wingman, but if not, there are some other cool pulls in this too. If you guys do enjoy this type of content and want to see more, please like the video and subscribe for more as we uh, try to get that out for you. VW Tiger Catapult and Familiar Possessed Asa. The one thing I do know about this set is that the commons, uh, it was only a 60 card set, I believe, so it's not very big. I forget, Simultaneous Loss, Oja Magic, classic right there, Oxy Get On, Xur, Knight of Dark World, and then Familiar Possessed Area. I can't think of the name. On these packs, you are not guaranteed to get a rare or anything per pack. So obviously, you know, going back to LOB, you were guaranteed to get a rare in English, but not here. Uh, Oja Muscle, Elemental Hero Wild Heart, VW Tiger Jet, and the other Familiar Possessed, the Fire one. These cards are very, uh, very slippery. They seem to be ripping easily, though, which is kind of nice. Uh, uniform, what is this card called? I'm going to have to put a graphic of it up. Uniform Nomenclature or something? I don't know. Dark World Lightning, Reborn Zombie, Cyber Blader, and Win. So we got all four Charmers. I did see a few boxes of this open on YouTube maybe a year or two ago. And they did pull a couple of really cool ultis. So I would love for that to be, you know, us to have a similar result. There's a rare, Jax Knight. These are all ultis in here too. Um... Think. At least, at least Queen's is. I'm assuming all three of them are, though, as King's Court gets ready to come out here in the TCG. It's a nice little cross promotion. Incinerator, Blade Skater, Scar, and then there's King's Knight. A good sign. I think it's like six super rares or better, and then two ultis is the average, but it can change. Chthonian Polymer, Hydro Get On, VW Tiger, Area, and then Chthonian Soldier. It's a Chaz card. So this came out during GX, which was like my era of kind of growing up with Yu-Gi-Oh! And I just fondly remember all these cards, even if this set as a whole is not that great in terms of its overall content outside of some of the chase cards. I would love to open this in English, but it's one of the more expensive sets simply due to how much Shining Flare Wingman is. Non-Fusion Area, Bonding H2O, V Tiger Jet, Nano Breaker, and a super rare to start us off, Pot of Avarice. Um card is now obviously at three in the CCG after being banned for quite a while. Really nice card though. I like to do these OCG box openings just to be able to, you know, open sets that we don't see often, which is really the best part of it. Uh, Rollout, Branch, Etoile Cyber, Beige, and then Rapid Fire Magician. And these sets back in the day, in the TCG anyway, you could get rares as ulties as well. This was one of the sets that did that. I wish they would do it now. Um, or at least bring back ultis and sets in general, but for some reason they're against it. I don't know if it just costs more to print or if it's just a bigger marketability factor for the OTSs. I think you could bring ultis back and introduce a different rarity. Ultis were hard to pull, but not as hard as Starlights, which are just insane. You know, one every other case versus, I don't even know, ultis I think were like one per box, typically. And there were variations on it, but I can see through the imprint on the back of that. I think that may actually be one. Let's find out. Noxie, get on. Zer. Asa. And an ultimate rare. First of all, these look unreal. Just in just solely speaking from an art perspective. Let me see if I can get this in a, in a lighting that's actually good. Look at the detail on this. This is insane. I don't I don't know the value of these ultis or anything, but look at the actual, like, the detail to the attention to detail on that is is immaculate chthonian soldier ulti so my hope is that we do have a chance at a second one keep the dream alive for the wingman we'll see how it goes um simultaneous loss oja muscle wild heart v tiger jet in another area try and 
to get this to go. Weed Out, Reborn Zombie, Blade Skater, Hita, and Brawn. I think Tempest is in this set as well, E-Hero Tempest, so I'd be okay with that too as the ulti. The Treaty, Dark World Lightning, V-Tiger Jet, Silva. I used to have an ulti Silva for the longest time. I had a few ultis from this set. I think I bought a bunch of it when it came out. Like, every couple weeks I get to go to the store and get a few. Uh, Scar. Even if we can't get an ulti Shining Flare, still getting a Shining Flare would be pretty cool. Stony Polymer, Inferno Incinerator. Ooh, I skipped that a little, little bit. A little... Ah! I try to make these as, as short and, you know, because no one wants to watch, like, 20 minutes of it, realistically. It's not like it's a first-end English box where I'd say, let's take our time. Super Rare Blade Edge. There you go. That was an Ultra in our version of the set, I believe. But it also came ulti, and that would be a sweet one to pull. Just an iconic card from GX. One of the first, uh, well, not one of the first, but one of the, actually, it used to be decent back in the day. Another King's Knight. And we're through the first half pretty effectively. No groundbreaking pulls yet, but I don't think the supers in this set are really going to be the type of pulls that are groundbreaking, so for whatever that's worth. I, we do have a shot at another ulti, and for the ultra, if we get one, I would really... Oh, this pack wanted to break the mold of being easy to open. Weed out. W Tiger. Blade Skater. Ultra Rare Elemental Hero Wild Edge. Check that out. The uh, foil patterns on these are, are still... Just the quality between Ultras from back in the day versus Ultras now. And I know this is probably a relatively... Like a re-released version of the, the Korean set, but it's still printed with the old print style, and they just look... So, so much better, in my opinion. I don't know. I think one Ultra per box is the max. So I think we may be SOL with the Flare Wingman. My giant stack of commons is now falling over. If anybody's interested in OCG commons, let me know. Um, if you're interested in them and you want to pay the shipping, I will send them out to you for free uh, from any of these openings. So any of the commons, I will. you can have them free of charge. You just got to pay the shipping cost. Because it would cost me an insane amount of money to ship that out otherwise. I'll give it away sometimes at locals and stuff if people want them, but since, you know, that hasn't started yet. Another Jack's Knight. So hit me up. You ever watch a video on here in the future? I'm out, fresh out right now outside of what you're seeing here. Um, and, you know, in, in a future video, if this is all gone, I'll update it. I thought that was an ulti for a sec. I was like, uh, really wanted to keep the hope alive of getting an ulti that was actually epic. Uh, Nano Breaker. I don't know. How would you guys feel if we, we weren't guaranteed a rare impact? Like, I wish they would go back to the format of getting, you know, of foils not being guaranteed just because it did give them more value. And it made packs more fun to open because you didn't know if you were going to hit a super. And I'm guessing in some way it was done to combat scaling, which is fine. Like, I understand that that's an issue that they needed to address. But at the same time, I imagine that that was, a, you know, a relatively minimal issue in comparison to the, the upside. Here we go. VWXYZ Dragon Catapult Cannon. Not bad. So far, we have four. No, I'm sorry. Three supers. Pot of Avarice, when it came out, was a terrible card, actually. Ironically, it doesn't see much play now, either, in outside of, like, specific niche decks. But there was a while where that card was banned, and, and people thought it would never see the light of day again. It's just, uh, it's sometimes unneeded. Good card, though. It went through its waves. Chthonian Soldier, again, as we near the end of this... I'm reminded of our 20-plus minute Chronicle pack openings when I first started opening OCG packs and just had no idea how to effectively use my fingers for things. Well, someone's probably going to quote that the wrong way, but that's fine. Alrighty, next one. I'm going through these a little faster here simply because I don't think we have many foil opportunities left. That being said, this is an ulti, I can tell, because they imprint on the back of the card, so I am going to save that. On the off chance that we get an ulti wingman, that would be a really cool thing to end it on. Those are more common. And gosh, they're so slippery in comparison to the English ones. It's probably another thing you could clip. Uh, level limit area A. Queen's Knight, not bad. We still got that ulti, for sure. Um... Again, it does sort of kill the surprise when you can see it like that, but at least we know it's there. Can that be a wingman? That would be freaking awesome. I do think we have one super left as well. All right, yeah, we do. I was right on that. Cyber Blader. 
think probably the original is probably the first dead's probably a couple bucks but not insane value there i don't remember if this is a uh card art that they altered for one reason or another we used to get it way more back in the day that they would alter the arts all right and this is just a common so for our final pack, which we know has an ulti in the back, will we get a Flare Wingman? I don't, it doesn't seem likely, but uh, let's see. Oh, 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 dude! That isn't a Flame Wingman, but that is a freaking awesome pull. That might be the second or third best option, just in terms of, first of all, like, look at it, right? And second of all, that is, that is a beautiful ultimate rare. Wow. Okay. Well, that worked out well. Whew. So, we got um, two ultis, including Blade Edge. That was a great finish. Obviously, a Flare Wingman would have been better, but I didn't expect it. And then we've got the, the Wild Edge Ultra Rare, which is pretty cool. And Supers are hit or miss, but not bad, all things considered. So, if you guys enjoyed this video and want to see other OCG box openings, let me know. I mean, I guess I could try to get another Elemental Energy, but I don't, without, you know, I don't know how much real, like, benefit that would be. Um, unless we were chasing down the Flare Wingman. So maybe in the future. Um, I think Phantom Darkness was another one I was looking into getting. The Korean boxes are usually relatively inexpensive and do contain some awesome, awesome cards. And I've also been able to move some of it on the market on TCG Player and stuff, obviously at lesser prices. So it's not a terrible investment for me uh, if you guys just want to see more of those openings. So let me know down in the comments below what types of things you're interested in, and I'll see you guys in the next video.